I want to show you my reverse laser liner and how to use it. Okay, so this is a standard uh, Chinese machine design. You know, some have a, a, a movable Z head, this one doesn't. Okay, so you remove your lens tube and then you have your always on uh, red laser and you put that up into the machine and it hits the mirror. It represents exactly 90 degrees center of the lens and, and points perfectly 90 degrees. I, I've set it to about 20 feet to be perfect. So on, on this machine, when I first put it in here and I put that laser in there, my, my screws were down real far and my red dot was literally at the very top of the hole. And, and I realized that was where if I wanted to get 90 degrees to that lens, I needed to actually bring my CO2 laser in at the very, very top of the hole. And then at that point, I just loosened all the screws, the lens, the mirror came down, and the hole came lower. The hole is still, if you look at it, it's still above the center. So if you were, if I were to take my CO2 laser and run it into the center of the hole, I'd be easily a millimeter off. I'd be too high, I'd be too low by a millimeter. And to get it to the center of the lens, I'd have to bring it at an angle that isn't 90 degrees, and I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't get a good focal point. No matter what kind of lens you put in there, you're not getting a good focal point. So. After you, uh, I, for me, I lowered my mirror. Now I, I line up mirror three, okay? And I, I bring it up close to the, to the mirror two, okay? And I do uh, an alignment here and adjust the focus. It's always on, so it's actually not burning anything. It's real quick. I move it far. I get it so I go back and forth so that it's, it doesn't move, okay? And now I know mirror three. Now this is the line that's level with where it needs to be to get, this is the level of the, the, the laser has to be. This is where the laser needs to be at a, this height to get it at 90 degrees to get it at dead center in. So we're starting with the most important mirror and we're going to go backwards through the system and now I can, this one's perfect so I'm going to now take that off. I'm going to line mirror number two to, to mirror one. So again, same procedure. You get it close, and you can see where the red laser hits the entry hole on mirror one. You can get it further away. You can see it hasn't moved at all. I've done this uh, already. And you just go back and forth again. It's always on. It's a little bit quicker than burning and removing a tape and putting new tape on. Uh, it's a very high quality system. So now that mirrors three and mirrors two are perfect you will want to get now you your, your tube doesn't need to be plumb it doesn't it just needs to be pointed and burn on mirror one in exactly the same spot that the red laser hit and if you get it to hit the same spot that the red laser hit you can adjust mirror one so that it will be uh, all around the system now in order to do this now that now that I have the, the, the CO2 laser uh, hitting the right spot, and I want to adjust mirror one, one of the first things I want to do is I need to, I don't want to burn my laser, and I want to know where to enter. So I take a little Sharpie on a piece of tape, and I mark right where I want my CO2 laser to burn. So now I know the entry point on my head to get the perfect uh, 90 degree bend right into the center of the lens. And again, I'll do the same thing for lining mirror one. I'll do it close, right over here. I'll burn. I'll move it far away to the other end of the table. I'll burn right here. And then I'll, I'll, mirror one will be perfect. And come on up here and you'll have the best possible uh, alignment and focal point you can get with the system. And you can't get 90 degrees out of the way. I've seen, again, the adjustable Z heads where you have four screws and you can move it up and down. The biggest problem with that, and those are nice because you can move it and change the plane, but when you loosen the four screws, it's easy to canter that head. And to, to get two degrees of canter in that head, well now that makes it, you'll never see two degrees by tightening back up. And, and you're gonna have, now you're going to have issues with focal point and getting that point to go right down through the center. But with this type of system, you'll know what 90 degrees is. You'll know right where the center line of the lens is. And, and whether it comes in at 
here and comes at 89 degrees to get to the center point perfectly perpendicular, it, it's not that important. It's important that it runs even with the glide ways and that it hits the lens at 90 degrees to the lens. Uh, thank you.